Ten indices a narcissist's victim has burned them. One, narcissists portray themselves as unconcerned. Contrary to popular belief, narcissists can behave like it didn't upset them after they've been abandoned by a victim. The reason for this is because narcissists would do everything to maintain the appearance that they are always in charge because they don't want to recognize that someone else can have influence over them. Narcissists are experts at putting on an impressive performance, and when they are disappointed, they don't seem to mind. Even yet, they could appear unmoved by your words or deeds. They've been called out several times before, and they know how to handle it. You won't ever see them sobbing, pleading for mercy, or breaking down. 2. Narcissists start dating new people right away. Narcissists are constantly searching for new victims, so when an old one escapes their grasp, they usually move on quickly, often within days or even just a few weeks. The longer it takes them to find new prey, the more likely it is that their failure will upset them and make them feel helpless, a state that narcissists detest. Narcissists must leave their victims as soon as possible because they cannot handle being ignored or rejected by them. The new connection offers them a chance to start over and win the other person over once more, but as soon as that person becomes emotionally attached, the cycle will start all over again. 3. Narcissists hold their victims responsible for all of the problems in their life. After leaving their victims, narcissists frequently experience some serious problems in their personal lives. However, rather than accepting responsibility for these issues or making an effort to address them, they usually accuse their former partners of having caused them. Narcissists are skilled at making their victims believe that it is their fault because they like playing the victim. Even when they are the ones harming others, narcissists have an amazing capacity to persuade themselves that they are the victims. They will claim that the other person was excessively needy or emotionally unstable when they are dumped or rejected. They're going to claim, if you had been nicer to me, I wouldn't have cheated on you. Or even, if you'd just been more supportive of my business ideas, I wouldn't have had to go behind your back and steal clients from you. They'll keep saying these things over and over again until their victims start to believe them. 4. Narcissists put themselves on the line. Narcissists defend themselves after being wounded by a victim. They find it difficult to accept that someone has recognized their facade and is eager to expose it. Narcissists get defensive when they perceive an attack on them. They'll make an effort to persuade you that you're mistaken or that anything is your fault. They could even begin blaming others for what occurred. Narcissists attempt to make it appear that everything that occurs is someone else's fault because they are unable to take ownership of their actions. They'll try to divert their victim's attention with other activities or make excuses for themselves. When they believe their victims are starting to lose control, narcissists get paranoid and attempt to restore control. 5. Narcissists will transfer their emotions to the victim. Because narcissists find it difficult to accept rejection, they frequently invent justifications for the other person's actions. They can accuse you of pulling tricks on them or manipulating them. When a narcissist acts in this way toward you, it usually only implies that they are dissatisfied with the lack of attention they received from you. Additionally, narcissists either ignore or respond indifferently to any attempts by the victim to reach out. 6. Narcissists make up lies and stories about their victims. When attempting to influence someone, narcissists may be incredibly persuasive. To get compassion or pity from other people, they would fabricate falsehoods and tales about their victims. They use it as a coping mechanism for the fact that they are pursuing a person who is not interested in them. They use it as a method to rationalize their actions by telling themselves that their victims are deplorable people. When a narcissist starts telling falsehoods about their victims, you know they've been burnt. Narcissists may accuse others of being insane or liars, or they may even discuss how terrible of a person they are behind their victims' backs. All of these actions are only attempts to reclaim control over the circumstance and their feelings by rallying people to stand in opposition to their victims. 7. Narcissists have fast mood swings. It's usual for narcissists to be happy one minute and angry the next. This is due to the fact that they externalize and project their emotions onto others since they are unable to understand them. A narcissist is prone to swiftly shift their emotions after being hurt by a victim, becoming furious and outraged. This is due to the fact that they are not accustomed to rejection or having the tables turned on them. They are also not accustomed to experiencing dread or self-loathing. 
When someone doesn't respond favorably to one of a narcissist's attempts at manipulation, they will rapidly shift their mood since they lack internal controls over their emotions. If you observe that your narcissist is acting differently than normal, there could be a problem. 8. The victim will be treated as if they don't exist by narcissists. Making others feel as though they don't exist is a specialty of narcissists. It is frequently used by narcissists to make their victims feel unimportant and unworthy. To be able to mistreat children without feeling regret or shame, they seek to instill this feeling in them. Narcissists are infamous for disengaging from their victims, which may indicate that they are still hurt. Because narcissists are accustomed to receiving attention from those around them, it undoubtedly hurts when they don't. Therefore, if a narcissist ignores you or otherwise behaves as if you don't exist, assume that they are displeased because you didn't provide them the attention they expected. Additionally, narcissists either ignore or respond indifferently to any attempts by the victim to reach out. 9. Narcissists experience frustration and helplessness. When their victims hurt them, narcissists will feel helpless and frustrated. They will feel helpless and bewildered because they can't exert the desired level of control on their victim. Narcissists experience a great deal of worry when they are unable to influence someone into doing what they want. As a result, they frequently look for strategies to take back control of their victim. Narcissists hate losing control because it indicates they are no longer in authority. 10. Narcissists could even attempt to exact retribution. When they believe they have been mistreated, narcissists may become highly vengeful individuals. They are more inclined to seek retaliation from those who have wronged them. This may take the shape of verbal abuse, physical intimidation, or instilling self-doubt. To make their victim feel isolated and without support, they could even attempt to turn others against them. Narcissists frequently aren't aware of their conduct as the reason why people don't want to be with them because they are so preoccupied with their own desires. They could ruin friendships, withhold love, or circulate untrue information about those who have wronged them. Never try to trick a narcissist or play games with them when interacting with them. They will cause you greater suffering since they have more expertise in manipulation and deceit. Narcissists will make sure to let you know how you have harmed and offended them in the future. To achieve what they want and to make you unhappy, they would do anything.